Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Soju Talk, your weekly shot at K-pop. I'm Doug, and joining me today, we got Warren. Hey, what's up, everybody? And Anita. Hey. Hello. Hey. All right, so obviously, hey. as you could see on this video, or <laughs> like this is this is completely different than what we're normally doing, right? So this is a we're going to be doing the Soju Talk girl group tier list. Now we got some fan mail. Mm -hmm. Um, during our long break, and someone wanted us to do um, a tier list of girl group and guy group. So this is the girl group one. Eventually, we'll do the guy group one. Um, to be honest, me and Warren are not super knowledgeable about guy groups, but we're learning. So eventually, we'll be able to do that video. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. We'll get there. One day. One day. But and another thing we got to drop on you is that this is our second recording of this because <laughs> the first yeah. time we realized after the fact we forgot some mage groups. Like we forgot Yoja Chingu. I don't know girl G friend. I don't know how we did that, but it happened. So sorry to the folks at home, but uh, you're getting the second run at this. But we'll, we'll, I, I mean, we decided on a tier list on the first one. It was, it took a while to do it, but yes. it, it was a lot of arguing. So let, the, let, thing is, the thing is, I'm glad we're doing it again because I, 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 I changed my mind on a lot of things. Oh boy. <laughs> but um, overall, I think, oh. I think this time we'll be able to get to a a better tier list than the one. But I do have some hot takes because I've been thinking about it since we recorded the first version. All right, let's okay. do it, guys. So this is this is based on how successful we think they are, right? Not how much you like them, not visual order or anything. Just like, oh yeah, no, yeah. Right, so right, it's okay. so we're we're judging on objective success. I think is the criteria <laughs> we're using, not on how much mm -hmm. we like a group. Because if it was up to me, Eiswin would be number one. But they're not going to be number one today, unfortunately. No, 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 no. no never in my list, buddy. Never. Oh. <laughs> um, before we start, one other thing. <laughs> If, um, please, in the comments, tell us what you think about our list, which, how you would change things. And if you want to really engage with us, please join our Discord, which will be in the comment... Well, not the comment sections, but in the info section of this video is the link to join our Discord. We've been posting memes. We've been listening to music. It's been a good time. So let's start this tier list. All right. First question we always have with this is... Oh, okay. So this S tier, right? So the I highest tier you could be. Should it be twice alone at the top, or do we also include... Red Velvet and Blackpink, because, ugh. Wow. Well. Okay. Okay. Because objectively, they're the three biggest groups, female groups mm -hmm. in K-pop right. right now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Anita, you want to go? You want to talk first, or? No, I'm just. I'm wondering what you guys want to do this time. Okay. 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 Last I, time. Because last time. Well, you, yeah, we decided it was at first twice. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Twice was alone on the top of the mountain at the beginning. Right, right, right. Uh huh. But then there was a change of heart, and all three of them ended up there. Okay. Here's, here, okay. I, I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this. And personally, between the three, yeah, I like Twice the most. But I still like Blackpink and Red Velvet. I mean, no. But, I, but it's not what you I'm like. Thinking. It's what's objective. No, no, no. It's, it's, I'm, just, I'm, just making sh I'm just trying to say that I'm not like super biased towards Twice. Mm -hmm. But I think Twice should be alone at S. What? Okay, okay. I, I thought about this <laughs> yeah, for a while. I have the complete opposite opinion that I want the three of them on mm. S so we can spread out A, B, C, and D more. Okay, mm. hear me out, right? Like, hear me out. How, here's how I define S tier, right? S, S tier is special. Like, that's what S stands for. It's special. <laughs> We're not, this isn't the typical A, you know, like, you got to do something more to be in that S tier. Mm -hmm. This like, qualifies them as special. Right. Like, you can't just be perfect. You got to be more than perfect. You can't get 100 out of 100 on your test, buddy. All right, but, 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 but like here's that. the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing you for me. 110 out of 100. I understand. Like, I think regardless of what happens, twice is going to be an S, right? So I'm just going to put them in S. Okay. It really comes down to where you want to put Red Velvet and Blackpink, right? That's what this really comes down to. Okay. I, when I think about Blackpink, right? They're extremely successful, and I always think to myself, other than releasing more songs, how much more successful can they be? Like, what else is there to achieve for them? Mm. Oh, wait, that's like... That's a really interesting way to look at it, actually. Yeah, because it's like... like I know, I know Twice has won more music shows, but that's because they have more songs, right? But in terms True. of, like, overall popularity, I know in the Western market, I would even argue that Blackpink is equally as popular as twice right it's only i would say in korea and japan that twice probably holds a little bit of an upper hand definitely in japan in korea i would say they're mm -hmm. they're about equal popularity other than the amount of songs they have 
So for okay, me, that I mean, makes me want to put Blackpink in S as well. Okay. I, okay. I understand why you want to put Blackpink in S. I do think it's a fair thing. But like, yes, Twice has more comebacks. And yes, that's kind of why they have more like music show wins. But on average, per comeback, Twice has more wins as well. My, my other thing is like, okay, so if we get those three out of the way, let's see what we mm-hmm. do with them all. All right. Okay. I would make a strong argument that like a Mamamoo or a Yoja Chingu is an A tier group, though. Oh. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, in terms of what I feel, Wait, I, what? I think they're A tier groups. Like, I think, I think oh, they're yes. A tier groups as well. well. See, that's why I want to put them in A, even though okay. we have this scale. I, I think that if you put it into Twice, Red Velvet, and Blackpink, any of the other groups on this list would hope to have that level of success. That's. Yes, I agree. Okay. Okay. So, Anita, what do you think? You you could break this tie for us. I I agree with all three being in S, just because. Damn it. At this point, unless Twice is like breaching like international grounds, like BTS, like I feel all three are gonna reach the same level, mm-hmm. like pretty quickly. Like I think it's gonna be on par. Okay, I'm sorry, Feb. <laughs> I'm sorry, Martin. But the no, ju- it's okay. It's okay. But I'm yeah, gonna I'll do this. Guys. I'm gonna do this. And personally, I think it's disorder. But just for for good sake, I'm gonna. Uh, I can't. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this, though. Okay, because oh, we're not ordering it within the <laughs> tier. We're just gonna put no, them all in this tier. Too much. Too much thinking. Okay. Now, do we want to fill in A or do we? Let's fill in D. I think that's easier right, than filling I, in. Yes. Let's fill in with D. Right. Okay, so. D, it's not like they're terrible groups because even if you're mentioned in this group, it means you're like a top 20 group, right? Yes, yeah. Right. But D is, I would say, if it would, for me, S is like international success, right? Mm-hmm. A qualified, and you're going to win music shows regardless of what you release. I consider mm-hmm. A like, you'll probably win like two or three, maybe four or five shows every comeback. B for me is maybe you'll win a couple, right? C is probably you haven't won, but you've been in contention. And D is you still got some way to go before you're in contention for awards. That, that's how I see this list. Yeah, you're like a rookie or you just haven't had any enough um, exposure or success yet. So, so Potential mm-hmm. to grow. Potential. All right, so mm-hmm. you, I'm going to start putting some of them here. You can agree. Disc- I'm going to put Nature down here. I know they, mm-hmm. they performed Mama Day 1 um, last year, but wow. not that many people know of them and they don't have that much exposure yet. Another group I think we got to put down here is Cherry Bullet because they only have two songs and they're new. Mm-hmm. I kind of agree. Like, obviously, all these groups' potential could be much higher, but I think right now. Right now. The, right right now, now, they're probably a D2 group. Because yeah. they don't have that one song yet. They need that one big, like, song that'll push them up. Yeah. Put Cherry okay. Bullet there. Yeah. I want to put two other groups down here who have had a lot of time but just haven't had the success. So I'm I want to put I think I know who you're going to talk about cuz yeah. these groups are basically tied at the hip. I want to put mm-hmm. Wakey Makey and Gugudan in D. Oh, I, I This this pains I, me because Sejong was my one pick in produce, right? This pains me to put Gugudan down here, but they just like cuz the first song was a mermaid theme. I believe, <laughs> and it was it was a hot, and then they had something like about chocolate. I believe, right? That was their second comeback. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. been rough. I know they're heading in the right direction now, but it, it's been a rough start. I'm gonna put I, them. I think both groups kind of suffer from like post produce. I don't know what to do with these talents. Yep. Yeah, yep. but Anita, you agree that we should put them both yes. in D? Okay, do we got any else in D that? Yes. Oh, okay. Which one, Warren? Oh, Gongwon Sonia, because they're new. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Super new. That's fair. Now, and I also think if we're gonna put Cherry Ball at a D, you also you gotta put, put Everglow in D. Yeah, we we gotta put Everglow in. Even though, even though I think their so- their debut song was the most fire out of all the D tier groups. Yeah, right? I think if we said the best song out of all these Yay. groups, no, no, no. But but Gongwon Sonia. Oh no, Cherry Bullets was good, but Gongwon Sonia's debut song. Which is, is that Run? Pink? Oh, what was that called? Yeah. Or do you know the Run name off the top the of your head? Um, Puzzle Moon. Puzzle yeah. Moon. Oh my goodness, yeah. that was our jam. But Here's the thing, right? Like, Puzzle Moon is still, it's still something we've seen within K-pop. It's something I saw from, like, FX, you know? Like, All right, but who you... Did, 
Everglow. You don't. So I think Everglow with one more song that's as good as Bon Bon Chocolate is C tier. Mm. With one more good song. But for now, because they got one, I'm going to put them in D, unfortunately. And I, I, yeah. also, I also feel that out of all six of these ones, Everglow has the most potential. Mm. I... I'm going to mm. say Everglow or Cherry Bullet has the okay, m- yeah. most potential yeah. for Main Street success. I ag- agree with that. I-, I agree with you, good man. Oh, wait. Okay, so here's another interesting one. Dreamcatcher. <sighs> Oh, oh shit. I forgot about Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher in our first run through was one we debated between C and D pretty heavily because oh yeah because they're a group that fits such a niche market with their sound that I would say domestically in Korea almost no popularity but internationally everyone calls them super underrated and for good reason too they're very talented. Mm-hmm. Right, they're singing and dancing, dancing. Yeah, it's just their song style sounds like Japanese anime openings all the time, which it's it's just either it's you like it or you don't like it. Yeah, but I do. Uh, I when I compare, uh, okay, because if it, yeah, because I'm thinking about the popularity of Google Down, Wakey Makey, and Dreamcatcher. They're they're about the same. Yeah, no, yeah, it's kind of true. Because like, if you know how the girl group scene works, you know who Dreamcatcher is. But otherwise, you don't know who Dreamcatcher is. Like. Like, my friends don't know who mm-hmm. Dreamcatcher is. Mm. Do you want to put them in D and E or do you want to put them in C? Uh, see, I feel like I'm a little biased because I know them and I've seen multiple stuff from them. But relative success, I think it's D. All right. The, the queen has spoken. <laughs> she, no. She's condemned what? them to D. No. Right. Queen Ida has spoken. Okay. Let's go back to the top and we'll come back to the rest of the groups. Unless anyone else is overwhelmingly think some someone should be in D. I'm I'm a little April maybe. I was thinking April or from S9. Like Oh, okay. Wait, La Boom. La okay. See La- okay. <laughs> April oh, and we're not done with D at all, guys. <laughs> Alright, I ha- I have some takes on those groups, but those three in particular. Can we go back to uh-huh. A first? <laughs> oh, right. okay. okay. You know what? Okay, fine. Let's go to A first. Let's okay. get A, for, A, A If we're talking about A first, first of all, Mama was 100% in A tier group. 100%. Yes. 100%. No, no. I think Yoja Chingu is definitely in A tier group still. Friend, let's go A. Yeah, A tier. They're, they're, I think those are overwhelmingly A tier. Which is kind of A-Pink. sad because I feel like they were S tier at one point. And I think at one point, A pink was in between an S and an definitely. A, but they've regressed a little into just A at this point in their careers. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. When they were releasing yeah. like Mr. Chu and No No No, they were an A to S tier group, right? But now with some age and their lowering popularity, I think safely they're an A tier. They're very good. Mm. They'll probably they win a couple shows every time they come back, but it's not the popularity they once had and the success they once had. Now, okay guys. <laughs> We debated probably the longest time the first take through about go. Yoja Idol, Eyes One, and Itzy, right? Mm-hmm. Because the, the new generation groups, right? I, I want to put mm-hmm. them all into B tier now. Huh? All of them. All huh. of them. Hmm. Okay. You said Itzy, G Idol, and who? Eyes One. Eyes One? Hmm. Okay. I think Eyes One belongs in B. I th- I think Eyes One belongs in B because they did have a considerable amount of push from the beginning with Produce, mm-hmm. and um, what's what's it called? Violetta. Violetta had like what, like five wins, six wins. The thing is, their only mm-hmm. two songs have won four wins and five wins respectively. Yeah, four or five wins each. That's pretty solid. That's more than A Pink won with Ung Ung. Ung Ung won three wins. Oh, that makes me want to put them back into A. <laughs> no, 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 no. We put them no, in no, B, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to be excited here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Wait, no, no, no. My, my problem with putting them in B, right, Okay. is that if we put them in B, like, I, I have, then I have to put so many groups into C. Yeah, I thought you were spreading this out more, so... Having them in A. Okay, because we all know that Yoja mm-hmm. Idol, Eyes One, Itzy are all A minus B plus groups, right? Currently, right? yes. But we don't got that crit- We don't got that on here. Okay, here's the problem with me, right? Like, 
maybe G Idol and Eyes One goes to A. Itzy has one comeback. I feel like it's too early to make a judgment about whether they're A tier. Hmm. So you would be more comfortable putting its um Eyes One and Yaja Idol in A, Itzy in B with the caveat one more good song in their their A. Yeah, but then again, they have nine wins. Exactly. Oof. That's. Itzy had nine wins. All right, let's Dalla do this. Dalla. Let's put them in. Oh, let's put all three of them in A. Itzy's on probation, and Eyes One's <laughs> on, <laughs> on the edge. Okay. And Eyes One's on probation as well. Where like they're hovering in between there somewhere. Are you guys okay with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now EXID. Are they A or B? <laughs> I know that their group uh... is ending soon, and this was their last song, but still. We have to put hmm. them. Hmm. I want to say that they ended with an A. Right? Because you know, um, true. I really liked their last couple of songs. I thought they were super professional for their age and mature. That and like they were pretty influential in the Korean yeah. like, music industry. Mm-hmm. Like think about what happened with Up Down Up Down. We got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It made a it made a whole new trend of like going down and going back up. Like like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think we give them the benefit of the doubt because of their past success. Even though this is more about current, I think you have to respect the OGs and put them in A. Do you guys do you guys kind of agree with that? No, I kind of agree with that. And like, I feel like they have to be an A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, EXID has definitely has like so a. So I, I want to group it like this. Value. I want to put A Pink next to EXID, right? Like, Although they, we're not. I know. We're no, not no, I'm, I'm not ranking them, but I want to <laughs> put these two next to each other. They're like veteran A groups, right? Uh, and I want to put Mamamoo and, and Yoja Chingu next to each other as like groups that have been an A for a while, right? Mm-hmm. And then I think these three, these three um, Yoja Idol, Eyes One, and Itzy naturally all come, come next to each other as well. Mm-hmm. I okay. I like that grouping. I think that's fair, right? Okay. So after so, S and A are pretty much like those are the t- the the top tier girl groups, right? Now we got like, man, the ba- the groups that are battling to get to this level, right? I think this is where it gets messy, right? It gets messy. This is where it gets messy. I'm gonna put. <sighs> mm. I think the Hard least enough. one you can argue is Lovely Zizimbi. Lovelies is definitely a B. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they've, they've never actually won anything, but they've shown a lot of potential to win stuff. And even without that, they, their fandom base, their fan base is pretty like. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure Lovelies have won some shows. I'm not completely that sure. That confirmed. That's uh, Warren Wiki to the rescue here. I'm almost positive they won a couple shows. You want to bet money? <laughs> sure. Oh, you're right. They won three wins. Told you. Okay. Damn it. But we've all know that Lovelies is like two great songs from being in A, right? Like they're 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 pretty much there. And I would say most people know who Lovelies are. Yeah. Yeah. Another they're group. Kind of, yeah. What's up? Another group Another... I want to put in B because of their last two songs. This current one and their last one is Uju Sonyo. Yep. 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 Hmm. I think Boogie Up, even though it is not my favorite song, has catapulted them into B. For sure. For sure, right? Because like they won like how many wins? They won four, four wins five? for this one, four and they wins? won one or two with their last song as well. Which really yeah. makes mm-hmm. me want to put them in B. Yeah. yeah, that's like a solid, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another group I want to put solidly in B now is Oh My Girl. Yes. Oh My Girl is that group that all other girl groups like if you listen to their interviews. Yep. Like, I know all of Twice, I know Nayeon, and I'm pretty sure I think it was Jungyeon are big Oh My Girl fans. And I I think they're finally reaching B tier where they deserve to be for a while. So I, I'm, I'm going to comfortably put them in B. I, I think that's a good, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Now, if we look at what's left, right, the most contentious groups are probably Luna, CLC, and Momoland, right, out of what's remaining. Well, okay. wouldn't Momoland just go to B? Because, I mean, I feel like they were A status at the peak. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they were. They, I, but they're I still think really popular. Yeah. 
they're still really popular. We should, they're like, here's the they thing, right? They're so hot. My aunts like Momoland. Like, they have, like, a different target audience. Also, if I think about it, m- my mom really knows who Momoland is, too. They're yeah. that group who like, makes the same song over and over again <laughs> that she says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it is, it is what it is, right? Because, like, it's not... I, don't, I feel like at this point, they might not be targeting typical K-pop fans. Mm-hmm. They're, so, because they're doing really well with like middle age and upper. Are we down? We're down for for putting them in B. I think. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're yeah. definitely oh, all right. Well, there goes their logo, but that's them. <laughs> <laughs> that's them. <laughs> okay. From us nine is C, right? Am I wrong with that? From us nine is C, or are they D? Yes. I think they're C. No, no, no. We they're they're a C. They're a C. They do okay. have a solid fan base. Anita, what do you think? I, well, honestly, I feel like I don't really... I don't know much about them. I know some of them. But... I think... I don't know. For me, it was between C and D. Alright, well... Is any... I think Daya is definitely C. Oh, mm. yeah. I think I'll put Daya in C as well. Because if you look at... Compared to D, they're definitely more successful than all of these groups. Right? You know, Have for, they won for, anything? I look it up. It's if Why they look it up. If right? they did, it's one or two awards at the most. Yeah. While I look it up, right? Like uh, they mm-hmm. definitely, for the amount of time they're they've been around, they should have been more successful. They should have yes. been, but I think that there's. Good debut. But if you compare Daya to any of these groups in B, they're not as successful, right? And I think mm-hmm. if you compare them to any of them in D, they're definitely. More popular, I would say. They have they have won once with Woo Woo last August about a year. All right, well that's more than any of the yeah, ones in D. Yeah. So we put that's, them in C. C. Ooh, look at this logo with C. Woo. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Let's go back to Promise Nine real quick. Right? Promise Nine. Promise Nine, cause like a big a big thing I noticed while um being really active in the Produce Forty Eight season was that like the Promise Nine fandom. Is very solid and dedicated it, within Korea, right? Not maybe within the I fandom, but within the Korean fandom. That's what I felt. And mm. like, for example, like, like a lot of the groups in D don't have that yet. Like, mm-hmm. like the Google Dan fandom ain't strong. Like the Kim Dong fandom is strong, but like, do you get? Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I think they should be in C rather than D, because they do have that. Like, they're definitely borderline, though, right? You, you're you, definitely borderline, yeah, but like, you want to put them in C, Anita? What I, do you feel? I, I vote C. Hmm, I'm just if we're being objective about relative success, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they have they won anything? I don't think so. Here I go into the wiki. <laughs> I feel like they haven't. They have not. They have not. Do you want to mm. still put them in D, Anita? I don't know. But then your argument doesn't hold because Luna hasn't won an... Uh, uh, Warren, look that up. I'm almost sure Luna has not won a music show as well. Yeah, they haven't. But you, I know Anita wants sure to put Luna up here, so <laughs> that criteria <laughs> doesn't hold then. I'm biased. <laughs> okay. I can't be objective here. If, if you're fair to me, if, if I'm being fair, wherever, okay. you, wherever you put Luna, you have to put From Us 9. <sighs> That's what okay, I think. I feel like both go and see. For me, C is really hard because I think there are some groups where it's like they haven't won anything, but you you feel like they, they should have. They worked. They worked enough, or like they've had some experience where like it's not that unlikely, or like it should have mm. happened. Okay, for me personally, I feel that April is very similar to Daya, and I want to put them in C. I kind of agree with that. I think Daya and April are pretty much the same amount of success between the two groups. I know Daya has won something, and I don't. I don't believe April has, but I want to say that the name recognition is about the same. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put that one there, right? Now, okay. So, see. Okay. If we're going on where you think you want to put them, and you want to put Luna in B, CLC is definitely more popular than Luna. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, no, no. you sure to... about that, buddy? Oh, <laughs> up. Cause like, has CLC won anything? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, with yeah, with oh. the recent song in February. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Because I okay, everyone debates Yaja Idol and CLC, right? That's the a debate because mm-hmm. they're both from Cube, and I think it's a disservice to CLC to put them in C when we put Yaja Idol in A. Yeah, I would put CLC in B. Yeah, that's that's my whole point. I want to put them in B. Warren yes. doesn't want to. Wait, what? I don't think they deserve to. What? Be. You crazy fam. You've been overruled I'm, I'm, though. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> you got overruled. I'm sorry. What is what is this democracy? I don't like democracy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's before we go back to Luna and from Miss Nine, right? Let's talk about La Boom because they were uh, heading. Uh, they were probably a C tier group, almost a B tier before the whole thing with Yulhi happened. Mm-hmm. Right, because after she had after she got pregnant and left the group, it completely wrecked them. Now, just for reference, before you guys ask, Laboom has won once. With uh, pee pee, oh. but I want to put them in C because of the hustle they've put in over the li- over the years. I want to put them in C for different reasons, mm-hmm. for for negative reasons actually. Because oh. for one, like they, it's been per- okay. The way I look at it, it's been two years since they were in rank one, and mm-hmm. the fact that they haven't haven't gone up from there is is kind of telling me that like, hmm, maybe like. Well, we're in agree. We're in agreement on that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. We are down to Luna, and from this night. <laughs> I personally, let's go around and see where we want to put them, and then we can figure out. I want to put them both in C. Oh. I agree. Warren. I need a word. Do you want to put them? Wholeheartedly agree. I think though, if Luna has a song that wins two to three awards, you put them in B. I think they're the closest out mm. of all the groups that would be in C. Mm-hmm. I think From Miss Nine would need two good songs, but I think Luna only needs one. Mm. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. All right, we'll put them in the front then, right? <laughs> just, just... <laughs> And I'll put from this not. Oh, we can't even see them. But oh my <laughs> from, God. I'm gonna put them here so we know something's there, right? Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, everyone at home. Okay. Now, are we are we satisfied with this? So let me let me go through this. So S tier, we got Twice, Red Velvet, Blackpink, A. We got EXID, A Pink, Mamamoo, G Friend, Yoja Ching. Uh, y- whoa, not Yoja Chingu. Yoja Idol. Yoja Idol. Idol. Eyes One Itzy. B tier, we got Lovelies, Uju Sonyo, Oh My Girl. Momo Lane CLC. C, we got Luna, Daya, April, From Miss Nine, Laboom, and D, we have Nature, Cherry Bullet, Gugu Don, Wakey Makey, Gong Won Sonyo, Everglow, and Dreamcatcher. If you could move anything, what would you move before we wrap this up? Hmm. Man, I really want to put the Everglow above D, but I know I shouldn't. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, Okay, no, okay. So, I, I like this. I think I agree with this. Another thing we can say is which groups are closest to going up a tier, right? So okay. in C tier, I think Luna, 100%. Mm-hmm. is the best chance. In B tier, I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's Uju Sonyo. It is. Oh, it's Uju Sonyo or... or look at their trend. Oh, it's Uju Sonyo or Oh My Girl are the two who have the most potential to get into A. In D tier, I want to say Everglow. Evergreen. Evergrow. Evergreen. <laughs> Evergreen. <laughs> Evergreen. A tier to S tier. It really de- oh. it really depends to me what one of these three groups what these three groups can do. Yeah. I think between the three there, it's I think it's Itzy. I think it's Itzy. Yeah, yeah I'll kind of say it's your it's, it's your G idol actually. You don't think... Okay, bro. <laughs> the Wiz one's coming out, fam. Oh, there are, buddy. <laughs> you don't... Okay, so let, let's say no, their no. next two songs wins a total of 12 awards, right? Mm-hmm. Are they not right. S-tier, then? Okay, okay, no, no. Here's what it is. Here's what it is, right? For Okay, if they win 12 wins, go for it. It's an S-tier. But, 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 as of right now, as of right now, Twice, Red Velvet, Blackpink each have, like, a different character within the industry, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They're the top of that character, and like, Ky- 
Blackpink and G Idol are kind of on the same track. Yep. Except mm. Blackpink isn't that active, right? And then G Idol kind of overlaps on top of that. I'm thinking between the three, who has the weakest standing? For me, it's Blackpink. And who's going to take over that? The most likely contender here is, for me, is G Idol. Really? But, I think it's Itzy more than your G Idol. I, I, feel I like... think Itzy needs more time to go to S tier. That's the only thing. To me, I feel like S tier, like the difference between A and S, objectively, right? Success is just how, how well you can transfer the success outside. Oh yeah, I of yeah, Korea. I completely agree. So, based on that, I feel like y- yeah, Ice one has like a really good chance. Okay, yeah, no, I kind of agree. Where you rank A through D based on domestic success more, and you rank S on international. Red Velvet has like barely any international success compared to Twice and. But everyone people. knows who they are, though. They got the mm-hmm. S. Yes. I think SM gets an S regardless of what happens. At least one SM group. That's why they get an S tier because of SM. But all right, are we I happy with I'm this happy though? With we this. go with this. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. This I'm is happy. pretty fair. I, I like how fair. before we started recording, we said we're gonna make it 15 minutes, and we're at 31. All minutes. right, I'm sorry, but like, there's way too much to talk about. <laughs> but I, th- I, yeah, I, I like it, you know. Okay, so I, I guess we're settled on this. So please, in the comments, please um, debate us. Give us your opinions on what we should have done. Be how nice. be nice, please, though, because this is just our <laughs> opinion on a, it's our opinion on something objective. So a subjective take on something objective. So what are you gonna do? Oh my god. But this is a super special episode. We normally have a weekly K-pop podcast that goes on. So please check that out. Please join our Discord so we can chill with you, post memes, listen to our boombox in there. It's a good time. And we will definitely come back and do this for guy groups at a future date when me and Warren are more educated. But this has been Soju Talk, your weekly shout of K-pop. I'm Doug. I'd like to thank Warren and Anita for joining me. We will see you all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.